Ten feet under the waves off of coastal Thailand, billions of pink specks rise from the ocean floor. These are actually the beginnings of new coral. The cycle of coral spawning happens once a year. The warmth of the water, the tide, the current, even the cycle of the moon are all cues that could trigger this event. Scientists are rushing to get as much as they can to help save these reefs, which are struggling under warmer waters brought on by climate change. This is Tiripon Kanorux, a 28-year-old marine biologist from Thailand's Department of Marine and Coastal Resources. So earlier while we were waiting, we saw the coral releasing the eggs. We waited for a while for them to keep spawning before we started collecting the eggs in a plastic box. So now we have to urgently head to the facility to mix the eggs and sperm from different coral colonies. I was really excited. This is the first time for me to see it happen. I was quite out of breath as I used a lot of air in the process. The team of scientists bring thousands of precious coral eggs and sperm back to their lab. The goal is to nurture the young coral and then return it to the site, hoping to repopulate the reef. It's exposed to red light, simulating moonlight. That will trigger fertilization. She says this has to be done fast or risk inbreeding and fewer successful eggs. After 72 hours, the fertilized egg will be transferred to earthenware tiles where they begin to mature. That could take three to five years. Even after they go back, growth is slow. And Thailand's Department of Marine and Coastal Resources estimates as much as 90% of Thailand's coral reefs have been affected by a mass bleaching event that started in 2010. The scientists are part of a government project that began in 2016 to regenerate the coral. The project chose a primary site near Man Nain Island in Thailand's south, which hosts more than 98 coral species. So far, over 4,000 coral colonies around the island have been restored. But after nearly eight years, it's still experimental. The scientists are trying to measure its success based on similar experiments in places like Australia and the Caribbean. Maintini Ujilin, an expert with coastal oceanography and climate change, agrees the project has seen short-term results. However, she says the solution is not enough. You could say that we can only try to alleviate the problem because we've passed the point of prevention. In terms of policy, we need to take action all the way to the legal level. But in terms of local scale, we must minimize its disturbance as much as possible. According to the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, the world is on the brink of a fourth mass coral bleaching event. It threatens the survival of tropical reefs, which play a crucial role for fisheries and the world's ecology. About 25% of marine life rely on these reefs during their life cycles.